Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to use BlueStacks on your PC, except we're going to be using it for Pixel Pets. So if you've ever wondered how you play Pixel Pets on your PC, this is how. Um, I want to go over a couple things first. BlueStacks isn't really uh, supported by Pixel Pets, so if you have any bugs, it might be caused by BlueStacks and we can't really help you fix that if you do run into bugs. And then uh, I think two other things. Um, if you have a guest account, if you made a guest account on your device, your mobile device, not PC, then you will have to verify your account first before using BlueStacks. Because what happens is when you make a guest account, you don't have an email connected to it. And if you don't have an email connected, that means you can't log into that account. So you, you have to be able to log into your account in order to use this. And um, the last thing I want to go over is um, which device you used doesn't matter as long as you verified your account. So let's say you're using an iOS device to make your account or you usually play on an iOS device or Apple device, right? Um, this doesn't matter. You can still use the BlueStacks Android emulator. That's fine. But you need to make sure that your account is verified so you can log in. And you also need to make sure that you have a Google Play account in order to do this. Otherwise, you won't be able to use BlueStacks. So these are just a couple things you need to do first. And you also need to make sure that you have virtualization enabled on your computer. There is a guide on the BlueStacks website somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where, but I'm sure you can just search it up. Search up like how to enable your virtualization. I'll try to put a link into the description for how to do that. Uh, so first thing you're going to do is go to bluestacks.com and you'll see a website, right? Uh, it might look different than this. They do update often. Um, you can actually use this Android um, emulator for any app other than, you know, uh, Pokemon Go or something. You can't use that. But most apps you'll be able to use. And if your PC is kind of weak, it might not really run very well. But we'll go over that later. So let's press this big green button that says download BlueStacks. And it should uh, download right away, hopefully. Unless your uh, internet is pretty slow. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you have slow internet. But uh, yeah, let's open it and the installer will come up. Uh, you can customize your installation, I guess. You can choose where you want to put it. You can choose where you want to install it. I'm going to put it in my D folder, I guess. I don't know. We'll skip this part, but you, you install it where you wherever you want to put it. So customize your installation settings, and when it's done, uh, you can follow the steps to install it. I'm going to do that now, and then we'll skip to after it's installed. Okay guys, so BlueStacks is now installed. Um, you should have had like a loading screen with whatever game they're featuring. Um, normally I'd say sign in first, but I'm actually going to say I'll do it later because I want to quickly go over this button. Uh, let me close this really quick. Anyway, this button. This will change the settings. And this button is the volume button. I usually have it muted at all times. But you can have whatever you want. You can have your sound up. doesn't matter to me. Uh, let's go to the settings. And I want to go over this because a lot of people will normally experience a slower um, client at the start. But this is because you have to go into the settings and customize your options to make it run as fast and smoothly as possible. 
Um, so I usually have it at the highest amount for all of my stuff. Um, yeah, you choose whatever settings you want. I'm not going to go over each setting because I feel like I'm not the right person <laughs> to explain this stuff. Um, but you can do your own research, find out what settings work best for you, for your computer. Some computers can't even run Bluestacks. Um, you just need to experiment a little bit. Uh, there's other emulators out there if this one doesn't really work for you. But this one is, this, uh, this tutorial is just for Bluestacks. So I can't really help you with that. Um, but yeah. Let's go to display. Uh, yeah, there's different customization options. You can have whatever resolution you want. Your DPI, uh, other options. You can even choose which device you display as. So there's like a lot of options here. Make it whatever you want. Uh, your your network provider, you can have it to set to, I mean, I guess just this one. <laughs> I don't know if they have other ones, but this is the one that I have, I guess. So uh, notifications, game settings, you can even set shortcuts, which I mean, I don't know if that'll really help. And you can also check for updates. Updates are really important. Some apps don't really work well if your Bluestacks isn't up to date. But um, yeah, so just go through your settings. Go through your settings, see if um, certain things work best for you. And then when you have it set up, what you're going to do is you're going to go here to the Google Play Store and you're going to sign in. I'm going to go and sign into my account. You sign into your account and then we'll meet back after. So once you're signed in, you will be taken directly to the Google Play Store. Um, search up Pixel Pets. And you will see, you can now install it. I will install it for myself right now. You do that for yourself. Um, sometimes it crashes. <laughs> but it's okay, just open it back up and it'll be there. <laughs> All right, so now it says it's installed, which means we now have Pixel Pets. See that? Ooh. You open it up, and it'll start the game as usual. And you log in. I'm going to log into my account, and we'll check back after. All right, here we go, guys. Um, your room will be reset when you log in. Uh, you can decorate it however you like. It's just the same as if you were to log out, you know, your room will get reset, your the color of your tasks get reset, you know, all that stuff. You can just change it to whatever you like, as usual. But you can see clearly I am playing Pixel Pets on my computer. Isn't that neat? That's pretty neat. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's that's my kind of easy tutorial, actually. It's pretty easy. You just get blue stacks and you install pixel pets, so yeah. Um, you should be able to play just fine after that. If you have issues, I I recommend looking up your issues. I can't really help you with it because I I don't know how to fix things in blue stacks. I only specialize in pixel pets. Uh, yeah, so just remember. Um, Blue stacks might not be right for you. You can look up other Android emulators. An Android emulator is a kind of fake version of a mobile device for your computer, specifically. Uh, yeah, I don't know. If you need any more help, I can try to help. You can leave a comment. Let me know. And I'll try my best to help you. Yeah. So I hope this helps. This is requested a lot. And I finally got it done. Yay. Um, we'll have more Pixel Pets videos out soon. Uh, if you like this video, uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, you know, all that good stuff you get. Yeah. Cool. Alright. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.